Good morning students, Sai Ram. Welcome back once again in yoga class. I hope you all are doing practice of asanas daily at your home. So today sit in Ardha Padmasan. One leg on the thigh of other leg. Both hand in a Gyan Mudra. Your back should be straight. Your head should be erect. Now close your eyes, start three round Om Chai. We are going to do Chakki Chalasan, churning the meal. If you having any back pain or severe injury, you can avoid this asan. So let's start. First, sit with the legs stretched out in front of the body with feet widely separated. Interlock the fingers of both hands and hold the arm out straight in front of the chest. Now stretch your arm and come forward as much as you can. Now reach from the left toe foot. Start to roll around moving from hip joint, drawing a imaginary circle all the way to your right then finishing the circle by going away back and left and round again like a churning the meal. Inhale while bending forward and exhale while going back. Stretch your body as much as you can. Keep your back flat as you can. Elbow straight. Try not to move your leg much. Light movement in the beginning is okay. You will feel the stretch in the arms, abdomen, groin and leg. In initial start with the 10 round. After completing from clockwise direction repeat the same in anti-clockwise direction keep your elbow straight back as flat as you can this asana help in toning the nerves and organ of pelvic and abdomen it is very useful for regulating the menstruation cycle Just inhale and exhale while going forward and backward. Keep your elbow straight. 
do not over exert yourself do not push yourself beyond the limit while practicing go as far as your body allow just keep inhalation and exhalation while going forward and backward if you complete your 10 round anti clockwise direction then stop bring the both feet together place the palm on the floor relax here for the few second deep inhale and exhale now now we are going to do bhadrasana so first sit in dandasan bhadrasan so sit in dandasan the stretch your leg out in front of the body both hand beside the buttock now bend your both the leg and place both the sole of your feet together clasp the hand over the toes push your heels more closer to the perineum region now open your so like you open your book and push the thigh with the help of your elbow now bend forward if you are not able to touch your thigh on the floor you can use the pillow now inhale come in center you can do 4 to 5 round of bhadrasan now close the sole now move your thigh up and down like a butterfly it is a butterfly pose you can do 10 to 20 round of butterfly butterfly and bhadrasan help to keep the body firm and stabilize the mind and it is also help to keep the knee and hip joint healthy after completing your butterfly straight your leg and shake it to release the stiffness of the leg muscle next we are going to do bhujangasan with the variation a cobra pose if you are suffering from the lower back pain or severe injury you can avoid this asan so let's start bhujangasan with the variation first sit in vajrasan now raise your arms up and exhale bend forward come in shashankasan now from here lie down on the mat your hand on the floor just above the head keep your both feet together now from here lift the head shoulder and chest up keep your elbow straight hold this position for the few second 1 2 3 4 5 exhale drop your head down on the mat now move your palm and place them just beneath your ear again inhale head up chest up your elbow should be straight look forward hold this position again for the few second feel the pressure at the back now exhale drop your head down on the mat now move the palm just beneath the shoulder inhale head up chest up shoulder up now look up keep your elbow straight hold this position for the few second here your both feet should be together elbow should be straight now exhale drop your head down now move your palm down and place either side of the 
chest inhale head up straight your elbow should be straight both the feet should be together chest should be open hold this now exhale drop your head down now move your palm just beside the buttock inhale raise your head chest shoulder up both the feet together hold this position for the few second here again 1 2 Three, four, five. Now exhale. Drop your head down on the mat. Bring your hand just beside the chest. Now lift the body. Sit back in Shashankasana. This asana help to improve and deep breathing help to remove stiffness in the spine and relieve back ache now in here raise your arms up and exhale bring your hand down and relax here for the few second deep inhale and exhale now we are going to do pranayam nadi shodhan or anlom vilom pranayam it is alternate nostril breathing the main characteristic feature of this pranayam is alternate breathing through the left and right nostril without or with restriction of breath that is kumbha so sit in any comfortable pose right hand in a gyan mudra left hand prana mudra close the left nostril with the thumb now inhale from the right nostril close the right nostril and exhale from the left nostril now inhale from the left nostril close the left nostril and exhale from the right nostril this is a one round of nadi shodhan pranayam or anlom vilom now we are going to repeat six round of nadi shodhan or anlom vilom pranayam So close your left nostril with the thumb of left inhale from the right nostril and exhale from the left nostril inhale from left nostril close the left nostril and exhale from the right now inhale from the right nostril close the right nostril with the finger and exhale from the left nostril now inhale from the left nostril and close the left nostril and exhale from the right nostril this is the another round now inhale from the right nostril close the right nostril with the finger and exhale from the left nostril continuously inhale and exhale from the left and right nostril as it is alternative breathing technique a pranayam breathing should be slow and controlled it should not be forced or restrict in any way just keep inhaling and exhale from the left and right nostril benefit of anlom vilom pranayam is it purify the principal channels of carrying energy called nadi hence nourish the whole body increase vitality and lower the level of stress and anxiety and it help to increase the capacity of lung close the left nostril and exhale from the right nostril keep both hand in a gyan mudra now rub your palm gently place it over your eye on your face now gently open your eyes